Israel is racked with internal divisions and mass protests over the judicial overhaul that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government wants. Analysts say that Iran and its regional proxy forces view Israel's domestic turmoil as a sign of weakness. The protesters and more than the um, demonstrations, it is the threat of some uh, reserve, um, reserves um, officers and pilots in Israel not to to come if they will be called um, gave the other side the impression that Israel is collapsing. After clashes between Israeli soldiers and Palestinian worshippers at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque during Ramadan, dozens of rockets were fired at Israel. Israeli officials say the rocket fire from both Lebanon in the north and Gaza in the south was orchestrated by Iran. The hardline leaders of Iran, called the Mullah regime by some Israeli analysts, have recently established ties with former adversaries like Saudi Arabia and Palestinian Hamas in order to consolidate regional alliances against Israel. The Mullah regime, in the right time, in the right circumstances, in the right conditions, is going to launch what has been known in the military perspective as a multi-front war against Israel, meaning that Israel will be facing simultaneously at the same time a massive attack carried out by Iranian proxies from different arenas, most of them surrounding Israel, namely Lebanon, Syria, Gaza Strip, and maybe some other more remote circles. This is a concept that has been known in the Israeli strategic security perspective as the, uh, the, 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 the ring of fire. While Iran strengthens its conventional capabilities and arms its regional proxies, it is also developing the nuclear option. Israeli officials believe Iran is just weeks away from having enough nuclear material for a bomb. I think Iran is very close to having um, a bomb um, and having the capabilities to produce a bomb. Um, and I think this is, is a big threat to Israel. Um, however, I also don't see Iran as um, using the bomb or um, I think I think the reason for having the, the bomb and having the, the, the capabilities of producing a bomb is mainly for deterrence. Um, I think Iran is a rational player. Um, Iran demonstrated since the revolution uh, over four decades um, that interest, state policy is also important alongside ideology. Israeli officials debate whether a nuclear Iran would present an existential threat, but they say that Israel is prepared to defend itself against any nuclear or conventional attack coming from Iran and its regional proxies. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Jerusalem.